See, what I do, I don't, I don't treat symptoms. I don't treat tension. What I do is I treat posture. And by treating posture, symptoms go away. And so sometimes people are like, you know, wow, Ed, your, your, your treatment looks similar to different, different problems, and it's because, correct, I'm treating the postural spinal problems, and as the spine becomes upright, there's less inflammation along your spinal column. The brain can communicate to your body. You don't have symptoms. Exhale. Aside from me. Beautiful. <laughs> Finally got her, huh? Look you, you stubborn chiropractor. <laughs>How much time do you think a week do you spend sitting if you had to gauge it? Eight to ten hours a, a day. day. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So with that, we have ligaments on the front and back side of our body, and the ligaments on the front get really tight. It makes sense they're never stretched because when we're seated, seated position, these ligaments are not stretched and the ones on the back are stretched all the time. And so after you sit for a long period of time, this might be obvious, but you come up and your body retains some of that posture that you had when yeah. you were seated. Yeah. So in order to change it, there's a couple things we have to do. We have to get the joints in your spine to like each other. When you're sitting, they're opened up and so they fill up with fluid. And if, you, if you're an engine guy, like, I can't, water doesn't compress, right? right? It'll actually hydrolock a motor. So you have to actually squeeze the water out of the joint in order to change the posture. Those joints have to slowly be stretched and squeeze the fluid out of the joint. There's also the ligaments on the front that have to be opened up and stretched. Your head's about, look straight forward, and we're dealing with about two inches. So the, the center of your shoulder, <laughs> so the- It's truly more like this, man. Well, what, you, I'm just showing off. That's show, so showing off, it's two inches forward, but <laughs> turn your head left, right, look straight forward, just don't, don't, no, not forcing it, but just show me where you think center is, is what we're looking for. Wherever you think center is, okay, that's where. So we're dealing with about two inches. So the head weighs about 10 pounds, Every inch of head goes forward roughly doubles in weight, so 10, 20, 40. The muscles, the oh, tension, no, no. It, it is, it, it's going to be tight back there. See, what I do, I, I, don't, I don't treat symptoms, I don't treat tension. What I do is I treat posture. And by treating posture, symptoms go away. And so sometimes people are like, you know, wow, Ed, your, your, your treatment looks similar to different, different problems, and it's because, correct, I'm treating the postural spinal problems, and as the spine becomes upright, there's less inflammation along your spinal column. The brain can communicate to your body. You don't have symptoms. You said your jaw is having some issues? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's always cracking sometimes. It like locks up. Feels good. Yeah. But if that's tied with the head being forward, and so, you know, how are you gonna fix this jaw problem? We have to get the head back. As the head goes forward, the jaw joint is jammed, and that's what causes it to grind and click. And so it's not a separate symptom. It is the same thing. That's as what I figured, yeah. yeah. And what else? I watched all your videos. So. <laughs> we'll breath in for me. All right, head back for me. Excellent. Right, deep breath in. Here we go. Exhale. Nice. Deep oh, in. Oh, geez. Wait. All right, deep breath in. Exhale. Nice. Right, there you go. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> See, if that was easy, you would need to be here. Part of the reason why the head goes forward is, is part of it is your work, but part of it also is avoidance. When your lower neck is overstressed, your head goes forward to get away from, you know, Ed, I don't have much neck pain, I just have tension. You might have more neck pain if you weren't in avoidance. Mm -hmm. You follow me? Yeah. Right? And so this is something we're going to run into is as we bring your head back, Ed, my tension's gone, now my neck is a little <laughs> upset. You understand? Because you've been, like if I injure my right ankle, I'll Right. Avoid it. Yeah. No, my right ankle's, yeah. my right ankle's fine. Well, it's not fine. You're just avoiding it, <laughs> right? So, the posture's a little more complicated. This is why there aren't a lot of guys like me that do what they do because it's like orthodontistry. You don't make a lot of friends moving teeth. Yeah. It's always yeah. difficult. It always yeah. is sore. Put your hands right here. Yes. All right, deep breath in. <laughs> deep breath in. Exhale. Here we go. Real gentle. Here we go. I got you. Exhale. Aside for me. Beautiful. Okay. Exhale. Uh huh. Exhale. Oh, wow, tight there. Yeah, left hip. Wow. Yeah. All right, face up for me. Face up. Okay. Well, I feel it in my foot sometimes too. You know. Tingly, burny, pressure heavy. Something underneath your sock. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> all of the above. Yeah. Not right. all, but, but the, something underneath like the foot, like this weird feeling. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's called with nerve pressure. So L5 is the bottom of your foot. The nerve in your lower back is being irritated by most likely 99% of the time it's a disc. It comes with the sitting. So when we sit for long periods of time, we all know about the lumbar support, lumbar curve that we're supposed to have in our back. It goes mm -hmm. straight like a mm -hmm. ladder, all the weight goes to the bottom of your lower back. Mm -hmm. So the alignment determines where the stresses are going. When all the weight goes down to your lower back, the cartilage in your lower back called the disc gets compressed. That disc supports open the hole that the nerve goes through. So we get stenosis and then nerve pressure. How are you gonna help me with that, Ed? We have to get your middle back working. And at the end of our visit today, we're gonna start showing you how to mold and stretch the curve back to your back with the understanding that we can't do any of this without having everything moving. Let's try to move this top back real gentle. Here we go. I got you. Yeah, a little tight there. Okay. Hey, move a little bit. Got your head. There you go. Oh, wow. Yeah, a little tight there. I got your head. Chin up. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Told you. So, ha! <laughs> the upper neck is supposed to be your main engine, your lower neck being a secondary backup engine. And so with the upper neck tight, your lower neck gets overstressed. You actually recruit the upper back to do work it's not intended to do. We need to restore the function. And I've hopefully you've been told the word atlas and axis before by previous Kairos. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. The last one, yeah. Okay, good. Okay, so we want the atlas and axis moving. If there's no curve in your neck, it easily locks up. It actually you unlock the lower neck, making the lower neck really loose, and the upper neck gets stiff very quickly. And that's what I'm feeling right here. It just, yeah. you got a really <laughs> locked up atlas. Uh huh. <laughs> so we need to unlock this. I don't have the keys. Yep, yep, you got it. Yeah, well, we'll find it. That's why I gotta find the key. Yeah, finding the keys to his spine. Any history of car accidents, or what was, what's your history in terms of teenage years with sports? sports or? <laughs> I was rear-ended by a semi once. Okay, how long ago was that? Uh, 21 years ago, 22 years ago. Okay, so you were in your early 20s then? No, I was 18. You are 18? Yeah, 17, 18, something like that. And you were in a car? I was in my pickup truck. You were in a pickup truck and, yeah. a, and, a, and a, set, a set lorry hit you? Uh, he hit me from the back. I couldn't okay. even pick up my head for, I don't know, two days off the pillow. Right, I got you. Yeah, so so, since then it's like... Off and on issues, I think. There has to be a trauma before 26 because your spine is still soft when mm -hmm. you're young. I need your upper neck functioning in order for your lower neck to not be overstressed, which is causing your head to go forward. Well, Ed, I don't have lower neck issues. You do. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. only it's just being avoided. Similar to the pressure that you're feeling in your foot. That's why I asked earlier if you're feeling anything in your hands because that's essentially when your neck gets back into a corner, it'll be... And my hands feel weak, I'm dropping things, my grip strength, mm -hmm. the motor function and, and the health <clears> of your <throat> hand comes from the nerves in your lower neck and you're in antalgia or what we call avoidance. That happens intelligently and you know, slowly over time because of nerve pressure. So this is kind of boring, this is just me. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Unlocking your upper neck. I think of it like a bolt, you don't, if I can't get the mm -hmm. bolt to turn, are you using a bolt? Because <laughs> man, just my thumb. <laughs> Got one strong thumb. Huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> I am not here to overwhelm you. My job is to ride the wave of your tolerance. Okay, um, if your team here. So I would say the left is what I would call the abused side. The right side is the stuck side. See, this side's actually been torn. Nice. Right there. Feel that? Right there. Mm -hmm. I wish I could, you know, let everybody feel this. <laughs> he can feel it as I'm running over it, but there's a speed bump in here that's clicking around. It's a tear. Our body doesn't heal with the same collagen that we're born with. And so this is a scar on the left. There has to be reasons for this postural distortion that I'm finding. Um, this is... I thought I'm going back to my bolt. Is that a bolt? Um, okay. <laughs> it got me all distracted. You have to put some PB blasters, some WD-40, right, and heat up the bolt. We're trying to, I'm trying to get the bolt to turn, and it's reluctant. This is the curve that your neck should be in. This is where your head belongs. 
we, we, we would have to put the computer screen on the ceiling or what? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Or at least eye level. I mean, at least he shouldn't be. If he's tucking his chin when he's working, he can't be doing that. There we go. All right. Yeah, if you want a quiet visit, it's going to cost double. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the entire visit, Ed? No talking, right? Mm -hmm, that's more expensive. <laughs> I've almost been taken up on it over the years. I've never, never been told that I've never. You know, Ed didn't explain himself. Ed really didn't tell me what was going on or help me understand my problems. It was usually, can you please be quiet, please? Here, here. In my in my office, I have music playing. The music is relaxing. I just want to listen to the music. I just your yapping is bothering. Oh, it's that green thing. Green thing. Yeah. Oh, I look forward to this. Is it super, this is... super red no. or no? no? It's getting. Oh, give me a second. It's <laughs> <laughs> so fun. Yeah, it's such a good time. <laughs> there you go. Right there. Some... Probably gonna be more on the left side. We'll see. I think that left side's gonna have right where that scar is. Big bruise. Right here. Mm -hmm. Feel that right? Right in there is a tear. Tearing it more? Well, we have to break it down. It's almost like a, <laughs> it's like a pothole. Pothole. Uh -oh. Yeah. Intent too hard, and I was gonna. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Leave some skinhead. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Please. Good old Louise, man. I always hear about her, man. <laughs> <laughs> so many people. Oh, jeez, Louise. Good old Louise, man. Goes up to the head. Yep. These are the roots down here. We got. Jeez, Louise. Again, she came. <laughs> oh man. Jeez. All right. All right. All right. Oh man. Right, that this can't ever go away. Why not? If the head stays forward. Oh yeah. It can go away, but we have to get the head back in order for it to not. Just keep coming back again and again. Mm -hmm. Okay. These are the roots of the tree that get pulled up when the tree leans over. We have to get the tree upright. There you go. Oh, yeah. Wow. Looks like you're ripping the roots out now. <laughs> no, I'm pushing them back down. <laughs> <laughs> They're so used to being pulled out, man. <laughs> brag a little bit. Did the other chiropractor get that? Uh -uh. I don't think so. Let's relax your shoulders. There you go. Yeah, a little bit. What, their tails? No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they uh -huh. are. Uh, right here, it's just on this. No, not right side. Yeah, right here. This is more elevated right here. Perhaps the word you've heard before is the word subluxation, mm -hmm. which is the word to denote that the bone is not where it belongs. It's doesn't mean it's dislocated, it means that it's sub-dislocated, sub-luxated, meaning that it's, the car's in the garage, but it's crooked. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we want to get the alignment changed with the understanding that it only can be changed through spinal molding, stretching. It's the same way we got here is how we're going to leave. It took time sitting, bending forward to allow us to get here. It's time arching the opposite way, or what we call the mirror image, uh -huh. to correct it. It's silly to think that it, we got here through stretching and we're going to correct it through adjustments. <laughs> uh -huh. It's like, that's not how we got here. True. It, it took, it was getting injured and then healing on a couch in a fetal position. <laughs> uh -huh. That's what did it. It was walk it off, kid. You know, somebody falls out of a tree house and, no, oh, you're, you're not bleeding, nothing's broken, you're good. Walk it's it like, off. Well, no, you're not good. <laughs> Your body's going to heal in avoidance or heal stiff, expecting you to fall out of a treehouse again. <laughs> the other way, right? Right, yeah. So it, it, it puts up walls. and the, the dude was going maybe seven miles an hour. I was dead stop. I saw him coming. Right. This would be your seatbelt on. Yeah, and I tensed it's, up. But you see myself? See my point? You have, mm -hmm. If you have your seatbelt on, your chest was unable to participate mm. in the car accident. So even though it was seven miles an hour. Was it seven or 70? 
seven, but it was downhill. Gotcha. Right. Yeah. And he but it, was uh, fully but loaded with lumber. Okay. But you see what force equals what? Force equals mass times acceleration. So the speed of the vehicle, you know, say if you were hit by a small car going 40, is the same as a large car going seven. Because mm -hmm. yeah. math, mass and acceleration are equal values when it comes to force. Oh, yeah. So F equals MA. So even though it was a seven mile an hour, but it was, a, it was something that weighed 20,000 pounds or whatever. 120,000 pounds. 120,000? <laughs> what? Yeah, double double trailers fully loaded with lumber. Oh my gosh. So it was like, it was like, it was like being hit by like a Camry going 200 miles an hour. Then. Let's, mm -hmm. let's figure that out. So let's say 3,500, let's say, let's say 4,000 pounds. And you're saying the thing weighed 120? Mm -hmm. So that'd be 30 times the weight of a Camry. So 30 times seven is 210 miles an hour. Yeah, it's a lot of force. Oh yeah. Yeah. And just, just everything's just guarded here. We gotta break down these walls. Super dense for sure. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> Please let me know if I'm going too hard. Don't want to get punched. <laughs> I want to fix you, but not that badly. <laughs> not that bad. I know your favorite spot up here is the roots. Mm -hmm. You turn up those roots, Ed? No, we're pushing them down. It's going to feel like Mike Tyson tomorrow morning, though, that's for sure. It's going to be like, I think I had a bout with Mike Tyson for 10 rounds. Will be sore? Yeah. Because you're changing things, right? Like going mm -hmm. to an orthodontist and you're moving teeth. Mm -hmm. you're, you, you, if you're not sore, I apologize. <laughs> would really be. Or how about this? You don't need to be here. If you're not sore tomorrow morning, then here's some. I'll, I'll show you what stretches to do and don't ever come back. Hold that It's like, it's like Princess Bride. And remember, and remember, it's for posterity. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta push that down though. I know, I'm sorry. Oh man. That one's real sore, I feel it. I think that's been there for years. Yeah. I take it you never had gua sha done before? What's that? This is what I'm doing now. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. N any cupping, no, no, no suction cups or anything like that? Yeah, no. like uh, massages and stuff like that. They would use cups. Okay. All right. Same, same kind of principle. Mm -hmm. We're trying to increase circulation, We're trying to stimulate blood flow in and out of the tissue to help speed up and expedite healing. Healing's nutrients in, waste out. Really, the word replacement is what we should use, not healing. Mm -hmm. The body doesn't heal; it replaces new tissues made. Mm -hmm. You know, 
So we're trying to, if, there, if an area is so stiff from an old injury, it's all casted up, it doesn't have good internal circulation. So the, gut, the body puts it on layaway, you know, I'll take care of that later. And by working on it, we bring it to the front of the queue and your body starts to address it. Right here, wow, right there, woo. After like two swipes, it comes out like black. Really? <laughs> so that's when you know there's a lot inside, like when you run a carpet cleaner, if, it, if you hear a lot of sound, you know there's a lot inside the tissue. Mm -hmm. Right here, it's, this is the side that was clicking. Yeah, this is the, mm -hmm. yeah, there's an injury right there. And you said it was the right leg, is that correct? With the lower yeah. back? Okay. Mm -hmm. You can see out here, Carl, this is what's, I mean, there's some coming out on the left, but it real quick, there's more inflammation here on the right. The actual spinal cord ends at L1, and then it becomes individual cables below L1. So we call it the conus medullaris, and then the cauda equina, basically horse tail is what they call it, but the individual cables that exit here form up here off the spinal cord. So I don't know if it's widely understood that basically you can irritate the sciatic nerve uh -huh. up here because the actual cables come down and so inflammation I find up here is the beginning of sciatica or pressure in your foot and nerve pain or even even restless leg syndrome is, is pre-sciatica it's it's the nerve is sensitized and becoming irritable and you're uh -huh. bouncing your leg around to try to mechanically distract yourself uh -huh. but it's uh, yeah when you, see, when you see somebody like you know just moving their legs yeah maybe they drank too much coffee <laughs> or maybe they have restless leg syndrome which is really pre-sciatica instead of waiting before it becomes grade one on a MRI okay yep now we're going to treat your disc injury how about we just preventatively treat the spine because we know where all disc injury happens we know all disc injury happens L4 L5 and C5 6 and 7 in the lower neck uh -huh. so shouldn't there be education at a young age to ensure that the areas above and below those areas are moving properly so that not all the stress is happening should there be education posturally that you know rounding forward looking down at our phones is increasing the stress on those areas that where all the disc injuries happen you got it so today's visit is just like i said this is the first step of softening you and you know it, it's, it's, it begins with getting all the parts of your back working. I'm gonna adjust you again in a minute, see if we can get all, let's get some more vertebrae moving. Mm -hmm. And then we can go to, we'll give you a preview today of the stretching. Well, that's okay. tense, huh? Sitting locks this joint, essentially. This is, the mobility of this joint is what prevents this soreness from accumulating. Mm -hmm. So when we sit, this joint gets stiff. That's what I was checking when we put you on your side and I was rotating you. Mm -hmm. I'm checking the mobility of this joint. I think this was the most resistant one. This side was definitely tighter on your left. Mm -hmm. and going to what you're saying, the right is where the symptoms are. Get the idea, right? The left is locked. The mm -hmm. right is overstressed, but the cause is essentially oh. in, I know, it's an, it's an underworking of this joint. That's a knuckle right here. That's the top of the SI joint. Mm -hmm. oh, all right, all right. I'm trying to hold, hold it down. Almost a... It's like shooting down like my inner thighs. Yeah. yeah. Gotta get out of here. Man, oh man. Five seconds, five or seconds, five. Right there. Oh, yeah. That's painful. <laughs> we'll get you later for this. Uh-huh. All right, all right, all right. All right, it's good. You survived. I was just... Yeah, that's the... That's all that's... Ouch. Yeah, this is all lactic acid that's been trapped in there. Uh, ouchie. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, whoa. There it is. Good. Nice. Nice. Uh huh. Uh huh. Come on, let him go. <coughs> all right, no. Uh, I like that thing up with you. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I. Uh -huh. It's guarding. Your body's rightfully so guarding these areas, but we have to direct your body to let them go. They're not your friends. They have to be evicted. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Okay. All right. Um, 
I'll get you for that. I'll get you, man. I'll get you, man. <laughs> I don't know when. I don't know how. I have a particular set of skills. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I will find you. Whatever it takes. <laughs> The missing link. <laughs> Still here. <laughs> this is so tough. You have to come over here for me. But this is step one to stage one. And I don't want it so high that your chin is down, right? Incorrect. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I don't want it so low that my it's too goalie locks. We want kind of middle upper, enough that your head's going over it, but not notice my chin is up, mm-hmm. head's arching back. There you go. Perfect. There you go. And then this is see how much gap we have? between the back of your head and the floor. That's too much gap. Too much gap. It's because your neck doesn't want to uh-huh. fold over the device. The care essentially changes from front load with me to you brushing your own teeth. It's not supposed to be, like I said, like you, maybe previous chiropractors have told you three times a week the rest of your life. You know, It's not supposed to be that. It's supposed to be doesn't come help. in here as, until you're trained as frequently or as infrequently as you want. Once you're trained, I'm more of a supervisor, air traffic controller, just guide, and you're doing your uh, stretches at home, and that's what long-term is my goal. I'm a greedy Cairo. Just let it go, Ed. Let the bone go. <laughs> you can't get it. Maybe you're just not a good enough chiropractor. There we go. All right, I'm done. All right. There you go. Little piece, little piece. Oh, uh-huh, yeah, wow. <laughs> wow, how do you have your neck so lopsided? Yeah, I'm <laughs> That's crazy, man. The right side. I almost say you don't need to be worked on the right. You need to, like, I would, my, our next two visits together, I'd almost want to spend not most of my visit over here to get this side to catch up. It's so far lagged behind. Yeah. Oh, man. It's because of that tear you have in here. It's, it, it surprised me a little bit. I didn't realize how locked down you've had this. The right side's going, okay, okay, <laughs> I see what you want me to do. <laughs> Oh, the bicycle. Yeah, pedaling. I got it. Yeah, yeah. I don't have to put my feet on the ground. The left side's like in a coma. Oh, <laughs> it's off in the corner. Shh, wake up. Crazy. He's not even talking to me. Oh. Oh. Yeah, there we go. I hurt. All right, all right, all right. Does the left jaw hurt more? Do you, do you notice? I have more cracking on the right, actually. More cracking on the right, okay. Does he crack? Both, okay. Identical. So releasing the masseter, this muscle, the tighter this muscle gets if we grind or you know, this, this jams the TMJ. So mm-hmm. releasing any tension in here. But this is almost all under the umbrella of forward head posture. That The more forward the head goes, the more inflammation builds up in this joint. And all of it's under that predication that we have to get the head back. <laughs> and in order to get the head back, i got to get your chest in. That's what that lumbar. So even working on the chest stretching, we call it coupled motion. We can't get the head back if we don't get the chest in. So we can't do any of it until we get everything moving. <laughs> we have to unlock everything, open everything up. Right, right there. What in the world? What in the world? <laughs> Look how tight that is. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. Words you don't want to hear from your chiropractor. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, hello, okay, I got you. It is worse over here. <laughs> yeah, I thought my left was bad. Mm-hmm. Oh, we 
got to release that. Man, oh man. Note to self, don't do lunges before I see that. I had enough pain. <laughs> here yeah, the, the tension in your jaw wouldn't be there and holding you in this position is how we're gonna relieve that just take my thing I don't think it's okay I'm just gonna I'm just <laughs> finally got her huh like you, <laughs> you stubborn chiropractor <laughs> That yeah. should not be, that bolt shouldn't be that tight. That I have to focus every ounce of my force into one area. It's like, it's like trying to, it's like being Brady and trying to hit a tire swing 50 yards away. And I'm like, come on. Oh, no, great. Where you been? Your wife's going to watch. I'm so rosy cheeks and all. After I do this, there's no chance your wife's going to even get the table. Uh, uh oh. Oh, oh, I'm missing it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said it was gentle. Oh, we got it. Mm. All right, all right, all right. I heard that. <laughs> all right. <laughs> That'll be the title of the video. I thought you said you were going to go gentle. <laughs> <laughs> 